you know, because because last since our last interview, Young Dolph got killed yeah. in Memphis, right? Yeah. Uh, we've done one interview with him before. I, I wasn't the one doing it. Um, and they caught the guys who did it, right? N no surprise. Right. It's on camera. Like a bunch of stuff matched up. It wasn't it wasn't that hard for the police to actually locate them. And the guys have now stood in front of the judge two times and they said they can't afford a lawyer. I saw it. And when you look at their Instagram pages, they're wearing jewelry. Mm -hmm. They're rolling around in Benzes. They're wearing designer clothes. All that, and you don't even have lawyer money right. when you get caught doing a murder. All that, all that, and you cannot afford a goddamn lawyer. You're going to get a public defender for a murder trial. Good luck with well, that shit. It don't really matter who you had. They're going to jail, but, but. Well, you know, shit, OJ got off. You know what I'm saying? A, a lawyer will do wonders. A great lawyer, mm. a great lawyer will do wonders. Mm. Come on now. OJ was a beloved figure. He was beloved by everybody till then. Till then? He was beloved. Really? He had a Hertz commercial. He was doing naked gun. He was, he was beloved. Nobody, these, these, listen, I just think we live, I, it's an interesting time we live in. It's very sad that now we're so connected to these things. Um, and people are, like, the, the the people that people respond to and are, are um, kind of, you know, responded to in a way that they just don't to everybody else are being killed. This is crazy. Bob Saget recently passed. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of uh, the two of you mm -hmm. together. How well did you know? Very well. Very well. Very well. Oh, I'm so sorry then. Me, I'm, I'm, you know, it's funny. I was I'm in, so sorry for your loss. Bur I didn't me know too. That. He was a, I was in Birmingham. So right before, it was January, June? June. Two things. I remember when I got COVID, Bob was one of the first people to call me. And he was like really, cons like he was like tearing up because he thought, because he saw me pass out. It was like, mm. like Bob, I'm, I think I'm good. But a year later, so it would have been June, this June, we were on the plane together. He, we were both flying to Orlando, staying at the same hotel. The, the hotel, it was, it was the hotel we always stay at. I stayed there. Oh, where he died. Oh. Okay. And we talked the whole time. Like he was going to do the, con I was doing, I was playing the gig and he was going to do either Comic Con or something, or something where he was there doing uh, memorabilia or something. And we talked from L.A. to Orlando. And we were supposed to have dinner, and we didn't. And so that's maybe June, July, or August, somewhere along. And then I am in Birmingham, and I get a call from my social media guy. And he goes, man, I'm sorry about Bob. And I'm like, Bob who? And he's like, Bob Saget. And I could not believe it. And it's just, it's, it's, it's. It's a weird thing, and he was a good he was a good dude, and it's just uh, it shows you that we're living in a time that's really more fluid than I ever. I don't remember a time like this where things were happening at this pace, and I'm sure they were, but it just <sighs> feels so fluid to me. Yeah, because I guess uh, he had bumped his head; he had a bad head, like a fall or yeah, something like that, and, and there was some bleeding internally, mm -hmm. and he went to sleep and didn't wake up. And so you know how paranoid I am. <laughs> so now, man, it, it's 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 very. And then uh, who do we lose after that? Somebody else after that? We time? lost a bunch of people. We lost. Well, I mean, AJ Johnson passed right away. Do you know I, him? I wasn't. No, AJ and I used to talk all the time. And I, I yeah, I dance. interviewed him. Um, yeah. And I could tell you, when I interviewed him, this was not Ezel from Friday. No, this was someone that was wasn't quite there. There was a lot of parts that interview we just had to cut out because I. He'd ask me to repeat the question, you know, multiple yeah. times. And I guess he had a stroke, like yeah. uh, maybe a few years before then. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, um, they said it was from alcohol. Yeah. He just had a bad drinking problem yeah. for probably decades and yeah. it just caught up with him. Yeah. 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 Sad. It's it sad. is sad. It is. Uh, Louis Anderson passed away. Mm -hmm. Did you know him? Very well. You know, matter of fact, well. I worked okay. with Louis. My condolences uh, as well. Man, this is. It's a it's a weird uh, fraternity fraternity. Um, I worked with Louis the last time like a year and a half ago. A comic named Jay Mandian, who was one of the writers, a talented kid, but he's a young comic. So he asked me to come on out. They were doing something at the Laugh Factory, and I, I was telling you, I never go to work out. I always I'm always gigging for real. So mm -hmm. I go to work out at the Laugh Factory, 
and you know, these is industry audiences, so you know. Um, right before I come on, Louis Anderson's talking about loving each other and being just good to each other. And I'm like, and so he introduced me and I go, what the fuck are we gonna talk about now? <laughs> and we, I got off stage, we, I did myself, we got off stage and we laughed. Uh, and he, he, for a long time, was one of my favorite comedians. Really? Mm -hmm. I remember his old stand-ups. Mm -hmm. Like people don't remember, cause it was like the eighties. Cause he, he really stopped comments. doing, you know, big stand-ups, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, after he started probably after coming to America, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was one of my, I used to, he, like the way he structured jokes, his cadence, his pace, he was one of my favorite comics. Oh, you know, he had this joke back in the day how his mom bought a toaster cord <laughs> from a garage sale. And when he asked her why, she said it was only a quarter. <laughs> he goes, okay, next time at the grocery store, I'm short a dollar, I'll give him four toaster cords. <laughs> I said, my mom would pay for it. <laughs> and it'd be shit like that. <laughs> he he had his own cool. cartoon, I think, at yeah, one point. Knew it, yeah. Coming to America, yeah. you know, coming to America. Baskets, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, people sleep on him. Yeah. He was, he was a great one. He was uh, great. One. We lost Betty White. Yeah. Almost made it to 100. Yeah, but that that's, you know, that's little, that's all deaths are tragic, but. You expected that one. Yeah, yeah. 99. Yeah, well, I knew it was going to happen when they said what, she's coming up on her 100th birthday. I was like, these motherfuckers are jinxed her. <laughs> they jinxed her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cindy Porte mm -hmm. passed away as well. Older, yeah, but good run. Yeah, he had a hell of a career. Man. And still stayed, stayed like sharp all the way. Like every time he saw him, he was sharp. You met him? Yeah. I never got to meet him. Yeah, it's sharp. Like I always knew what was going on. Yeah, man. I mean, this life, this life ain't promised to no. us. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You mm -hmm. bump your head and then you don't wake up when you go to sleep. That's like, man. I, like, but you know, it's better than getting eaten by like a fucking alligator or some <laughs> shit like that. It's, <laughs> man. At least they didn't get eaten. Man. <laughs> It's so many. It's better than. You should have spoken at his funeral. Man. <laughs> at least they get eaten by an alligator, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Could have been worse. Shit. <laughs> Dio Hughley, man. Always a pleasure. Likewise, it's been a lad. year and a half. Yeah. And we made up for it, goddamn. We, we made did up. seven interviews. We made, this interview lasted a year and a half. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> we Always made up for the last time, man. Congratulations. Do you got anything coming up? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually. I just turned in the script uh, to Fox mm. uh, Thursday, so we get no smart. I, I, a script for a sitcom. TV show, a new sitcom. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be the Hughleys again? It's going to be me now. So I. But my name will be Hughes on the show. But yeah, okay. I'll be a radio show host who always says things that get in trouble. And my, I have a wife who's very religious and a daughter who's gay and a son who has Asperger's. And so you're, you're you know, actual family. Well, my actual life. It's like a, a version of the Cosby show. Right. Well, except I won't drug anybody. You won't drug anybody. <laughs> uh, any we won't even have coffee on the set. <laughs> <laughs> any stand-up specials coming up? I'm writing one right now. You're writing it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was supposed to do it last year, but then Instagram, I mean, then uh, COVID. And yeah. Because your last one was on Netflix, right? Mm -hmm. It was on Netflix. So Dope. I'm writing it right now. Dope. Any books coming up? Because you're big on that as well. Man, I, I shit. I, I wrote five books in five years. I'm tired. You're tired. I'm going to write another one pretty soon, but not That's now. what it is. D.L. Hughley, man. Always a pleasure. Until next Likewise, time. Likewise, Vlad. Peace.